Pyth Network is a blockchain oracle that powers hundreds of applications, many of which don't have tokens. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to stake the Pyth token to qualify for potential future airdrops. Welcome back to Dynamo DeFi. My name is Patrick. As a reminder, nothing in this video is financial advice or suggestion that you buy or invest in a certain cryptocurrency. This is simply an educational tutorial. Now let's get into it. To start, while this isn't a full overview of Pyth Network, to give you some background on what exactly this application is and why you might be interested in staking it, let's take a look at what it does. Now it's a blockchain oracle similar to Chainlink, which you may be familiar with, and their tagline on their website is smarter data for smarter contracts. And they advertise having reliable, very low latency market data from institutional sources. And Pyth is the main oracle on Solana, although now they're actually on 45 different blockchains, but originally they were on Solana and many applications on Solana are still powered by Pyth. Overall, they provide 400 different data feeds and power over 250 applications. They also distinguish themselves by sourcing data from some of the leading financial institutions, both in crypto and in the world at large. They source data from places like Jane Street, Binance, and other sources. And to visually see what their ecosystem looks like, they power hundreds and hundreds of applications, and many of these do not have tokens right now. And so what some are speculating by staking Pyth is that if those applications later launch tokens and they do an airdrop, then having tokens staked for their main data provider could be a potential way to qualify for some of those airdrops. If you look at the Pyth token itself, then the current market cap is around 650 million dollars with a price of 43 cents. It is up 7% as of the time I'm making this video. And the fully diluted valuation is around $4.3 billion. So vast majority of the tokens are not yet in circulation. And then yes, because Pyth originated on Solana, the token is on the Solana network. So this is a Solana ecosystem token. All right, now let's get into the tutorial. First thing you'll need to do is acquire some Pyth tokens. The easiest place to do that, if you didn't receive the Pyth airdrop, and I did not receive it in full transparency, is you will want to go to Jupiter Aggregator. Go to Jupiter Aggregator, and then you can swap some tokens for Pyth. I'm going to swap some Sol. Simply type in Pyth. And you can see here that if you were to swap half a Sol, that would be 107 Pyth tokens. And a question I get a lot is how many of these tokens should you stake to qualify for airdrops? And that's all speculation, right? We don't actually know. However, I would say at least 100 would be a good barometer. A lot of times they'll set cutoffs at even numbers. Even better if you can stake at least $100 worth. But in general, the more you stake, the more likely you are to qualify for the airdrop. For this tutorial, let's get, let's just swap. This is just a demo wallet. Let's just swap. 0.1 sol for Pyth. We'll swap it. Confirm. Once it was a success, we can open our Phantom Wallet and we should see the Pyth token sitting in here. And look at that. Yes, we can see that we now have about $9 worth of Pyth tokens, 21. And again, I'm saying probably you'd want to try to get at least 100 to stake, but this is just a demonstration. We'll go over to the website, staking.pyth.network, and we'll go to the staking tab and we will select our wallet. I'll select Phantom. We'll be prompted to connect to the website and you can see, and now we see our balance of tokens here. I'm gonna select max to stake all of them and I'll click on stake. And then one thing to note with staking is that when you actually go to unstake, you will have to wait seven days because there's an epoch that ends every Thursday and when you go to unstake, you will have to wait till the end of the following epoch. So you unstake today on Wednesday, suppose it was Wednesday, then the following day would be Thursday, and then seven days after that, you would actually receive your tokens back. And that's just to prevent people from buying, staking, voting on governance, and unstaking right away. You actually have to, have to wait seven days. And we can see here that it now says staked zero plus 21.5, I'll refresh it. And you can see that they will become eligible to vote at the start of the next epoch. So I'll actually be able to vote in governance. 
starting on Thursday after I make this video. And once you have staked and you're eligible to vote, I would also recommend going to the governance tab here and actually voting on governance because protocols that airdrop tokens, if some of them do that, they'll obviously want people who are actually the type to stake and vote in governance because if it's a governance token, participating in governance is the whole point. So I would guess that you increase your chances of getting an airdrop by act actually participating in governance. Not to mention it's a great way to learn about crypto in the first place. To learn more about trends, airdrops, and analysis in crypto, I have a free newsletter that I send out every week, dynamodefi.substack.com. Subscribe with the link underneath this video. That's all for today. For more videos like this one, be sure to like and subscribe. And until next time, this is Dynamo DeFi.